Okay, let's move along to the next topic that would come after what you did. Normally, that's kind of the last thing we do in the year, but we got a whole nother quarter left, so we will be moving on. Um, I want you to run a couple trial runs through these two equations. Now, I want to make a table for x and y that would um, show the relationship between x and y here. And then also um, a table that would um, represent the x and y here. And here's how I want you to do this. I just want you to put 0, 1, negative 1, and then do the same thing here. Okay? I'm just, it's trial procedure. Okay, so what I'm going to do is replace the x variable with these numbers right here. Okay? So I've got 3. And then I'm going to make a parenthesis, and I'm going to insert a 1 in place of the x. Okay? And then I subtract 2, so that gives me 1. Okay, now I'm going to put a 0 in for x, and I get negative 2. And then I put a negative 1 in for x, so 3, negative 1, minus 2. Okay, so I got negative 5. So as you can see, every time it's decreasing by 3 units. So I'm going to put goes down three each time. So that's what makes this a line, okay? Because each time it goes down three, down three, down three. It's like a step ladder. Okay, now here I'm going to replace the x, but we have to remember that the x variable is to the second power, so I put a two in for x, a one in for x first, so three times one to the second power. That gives me 3. Now I'm going to put 0 in. So 3 times 0 to the second power is 0. And then if you think you'll go down 3, you're mistaken because you put negative 1 in. So 3 times negative 1 to the second power is again 3. So what this did is it from here to here it went down and then it went back up. Okay, so that's why this is a parabola. And the reason you add a parabola is because the x is taken to the second power. Okay, so if I have just x, it's going to be a line. But if I have x to the power of 2, it's going to be a parabola. Now, that could be like this, or it could look like this. Okay. All right, now here's what I want to do here. I want to look at these equations, and what I want to do is to find the middle point of the parabola. They're all parabolas, okay? Because we have a second power right there. So, I, again, I'm going to circle that. Got a second power, so that means it's a parabola. Now, right here, the 3, okay? If that 3 is positive, okay, if that's a positive, if the leading coefficient, the leading number is positive, it's going to look like this. And what I want you to do on these problems is to find that vertex point. So I want you to make an X and a Y, okay? Now, here's how we're going to find the X, okay? The X at the vertex, it's known as the vertex, okay, I'll write vertex, Okay, that's kind of the lowest point. Okay, there's a formula that finds the vertex. It is the opposite of B divided by 2 times A. Okay, that's how you find the X. So I'm going to make an A and a B. I don't really need C. Okay, so opposite of B divided by 2 times A. Okay. So the opposite of B, well, B is negative 6, so the opposite is positive 6. And then I have a 2, and then the A, which is 3, okay? So I need to find what 2 times 3 is, because the top is 6, and 2 times 3 is 6, okay? So 6 divided by 6 is 1, okay? So my X coordinate is 1. Now, to find your y, what you need to do is replace all of these x's, all of them, okay, with 1, okay? So, I've got 3 parentheses, and I'm going to put 1 in to the second power, minus 6, put a 1 in, and then plus 2, 
Okay, and I got negative 1. So the vertex is 1, negative 1. So that's what I want you to do. Okay, now the next one. Okay, the second power's there. Okay, so if I have that, I know it's a parabola. And we have a positive, okay, so that means it's going to look like a U. And what I want to do is find the vertex point. We need to know how to find that before I do anything else. Okay, so I know that to find the X, the vertex at the X is equal to the opposite of B divided by 2 times A. Okay, so my opposite of B is going to be um, positive 6 again, and then 2. And then my A is going to be, again, that's A, that's B. I don't really need C to find the vertex, okay? Okay, so I've got positive 6, and on the bottom, 2 times 1 is 2. So 6 divided by 2 is 3. So I know that my X is 3, and then the Y coordinate Okay, I need to replace those x's with parentheses, both of them. Okay, So I'm going to put 3 in for x. So I've got 1, parentheses 3 to the second power, minus 6, parentheses 3. Okay, And then plus 11. So i got 2. Okay, so my vertex is 3, 2. Okay, my next problem, this time the second power is there, but we have a negative in the front. So if I have a negative in front, it's going to be upside down. So really, there's a, the vertex is up here, and the, these were minimum points. Now we're going to have a maximum. We're going to have the highest point it ever gets, okay? But it's still called the vertex. Okay, so to find the x, again, we're using this formula, the opposite of b divided by 2 times a, okay? So the opposite of b, the opposite of positive 24 is negative 24, and then I take 2 times negative 3. Okay, so negative 24 and 2 times negative 3 is negative 6. So now I divide, and I got positive 4, okay? So I put a 4 right there, so that's 4. And then to find the y, I just replace all my x's in the equation with 4. Okay, so 26. 4 and 26, okay, is the vertex. Okay, next problem. We have a second power. Now, the very first leading number is positive. The x squared term is positive, so it's, again, going to back to being right side up. Okay, so there's a minimum. Okay, so I need to find opposite of b divided by 2 times a. Okay, so a, b. Okay, so the opposite of 6, positive 6 is negative 6. And then I take 2 multiplied by the a, which is 6. So I have negative 6. 2 times 6 is 12. And I divide negative 6 by 12, and I get a decimal. So negative 0 0.5 okay, is the vertex. Okay, now to find what y equals, I just need to replace the x's. Because I have my answer for x, I just need to insert it into here to find y. Okay. So 6, negative 0 0.5 to the second power, plus 6, and then 0, sorry, negative 0 0.5. And that gives me negative 1.5. Okay. All right, my next one. Now, here's the problem, what a lot of people miss out on here. It's negative, so it's going to go down this way, okay? Now, the problem here is this is A, but that doesn't have X, so that's my C, okay? But the problem is i got to take the opposite of B, and B's not here, okay? So if the B's not there, the opposite of B is 0, okay? And then I take 2 times negative 1. So you have 0 on the top and then negative 2, but that's still 0, Okay, 
So I replace just the x, the one that I see was 0. So I take negative 1 times 0 to the second plus 5. So the vertex is 0 and 5. Okay. Now here it's positive, so it'll be right side up. Okay. And I need to find that vertex point. But again, we have an A, but there's no B because there's no x to the first power. So it'll be C. So opposite of B divided by 2 times A. And again, there is no B. So since I don't have a B, the B is 0. And then it would be 2 times 2. So that's 0 divided by 4, which is 0. And then I replace the X with 0. Okay, So 2 times 0 to the second power minus 12. Okay, so my vertex is 0, negative 12. Okay.